Hello everyone, my name is Marcio, I'm the Business Development Manager at Keystone College Adelaide and today I'm here with Nia Lopez. She's one of the migration agencies from Seven Migration here in Adelaide. And she's here to explain to us the migration pathway for one of the courses that we offer at KCBT, the Advanced Diploma Civil Construction Design. Nia, thank you so much for your time and to be here with us today. Hello everyone. Thank you, Master, for having me here today. No problem. Our pleasure. So, before we discuss about the migration pathway with Nia, let me take a moment to present Keystone College and introduce the course, and then I'll hand it over to Nia to explain the migration opportunities. Keystone College was established in 2015 in Perth, Western Australia. In 2020, we opened the campus here in Adelaide, South Australia. We offer courses like general English, PT preparation, social media marketing, project management, business, cookery, and the civil construction design. That is the focus of the video today. The name of the course is the Advanced Diploma of Civil Construction Design. This is a two year course delivered in Perth in Madeleine. It has 12 units, with seven of them is dedicated to drafting. And KCBT is the only private provider to offer and to teach all the five softwares AutoCAD, SketchUp, Revit, CV3D, and Microsoft Project. In addition, we are the only one to have industry guest lectures and excursions throughout the course. The good thing about this course there are uh, three requirements only. So you need to have a year 12 or equivalent, over 18 years old and I use uh, 5.5 or equivalent of uh, the English requirement. In other words, you're not required to have any background to study the, the course with us because we're going to teach you from the scratch. So I think that's enough. I will hand it over to Nia. She's going to explain the migration pathway uh, if you study the course with us. All right, so this is your time, Nia. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. So why this course is so special? Because when you are going to apply for a visa, you need an occupation that's in demand in the least. The occupation of civil engineering drafts person, that's going to be the one that you are going to apply for after you completed your course, is one in extreme demand. Why? Because Australia has to invest in infrastructure. The country is growing. The population is growing. Therefore, we need homes, we need hospitals, we need schools, we need roads. And who is going to help the engineers and architects to plan all of this? The civil engineering draftsperson. Okay? This occupation has always been the least since I'm a migration agent in 2006. And what are the two advantages if you study this course? Right, let's see. Oh, that's a good <laughs> one. First, when you are going to apply for a visa, you need to apply for a skills assessment. What is it? It is a qualification and your experience that will be assessed by organization here in Australia. Most of the occupations they require that when you finish your course, you must have worked at least one year in your occupation. And guess what? The Advanced Diploma of Civil Construction Design does not require that you work one year after you have finished your course. You can apply straight away to the Skills Assessment with Engineers Australia, that is the organization for this occupation. Yes, see, good one. Wow. Yeah. It means as well that you are doing a short course, shortcut <laughs> of at least one year on your pathway for the famous PR. Or even if you cannot qualify straight away for the PR, you can apply for a provisional visa that leads you to a permanent visa. Second, when you study here in Australia for at least two years in a specific course, specifically in one occupation, you can apply for the famous graduate visa. This visa gives you 18 months after you complete your course 
so you can work full time to improve your experience, to improve your English, or to satisfy the requirement to apply for a visa. And this course is one of the few ones that allow you to apply for the graduate visa. Good one too. Oh, yeah, All right too. And the best one from both of students. This occupation will give you a very good start salary. Okay. And after you get your citizenship, you can go to the civil engineer course. That is in even better. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. good reasons for you. All okay. right. Wow, that's very very good to to hear for the migration perspective. Uh, but I do have two questions that normally the students or the agents ask me. So the first question is, uh, what is the main uh, pathway? What is the outcome for the student after they finish the course with us? Okay, when the students complete the course and have everything, they can apply straight away for the graduate visa, or they can go as well for a permanent visa. But before that, you have to have your skills assessment with Engineers Australia. All right. To do that, you are going to have to, to obtain the competent English. It means six each burned of the IELTS right. or equivalent tests. The very common test is the yep. PGE that you have to get 50 in each event. When you get the English, then you are going to be able to apply for the skills assessment with Engineers Australia. When you have applied for the skills assessment, yep. you can go to the graduate visa, and while you're graduate, you are in the graduate visa, you can work full time, as I said before, you can improve your English. When your skills assessment is ready and approved, then you can apply for the permanent visa right. or for a provisional visa that will lead you for a permanent visa. So this course gives you a really, I would say, safe pathway if you want to stay in Australia. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right. And the second question is about the course being accredited or not. The, uh, the agencies or the <laughs> students <laughs> always ask that. Can you explain a little bit how, how is that work? Yes, Engineers Australia years ago used to require that the, your course for the civil engineering uh, design had to be accredited with them. But that's not what's happening. Mm -hmm. Your course has to be advanced, minimal advanced diploma right. or associate degree. Okay. okay. If you study the advanced diploma or associate degree, you can go straight away to the skills assessment. All right, that's a good thing then. Exactly. Okay. But if we study the, just the diploma, you can, you are going to have to work one year. All right. So the Keystone College course is the two years advanced diploma. So you can go straight away to All right. Okay. No okay. more questions. All right. <laughs> All right, that's, that's very good, very good news to, to hear from the migration perspective. And uh, thank you, Neil, once again for coming here. I know you're busy schedule, so thanks for, for coming here to expand with the course and the migration pathways. Absolutely, my pleasure. And yeah. we are here to answer questions. Mark, Mark is always yeah. present in yeah. this, the college. And when it needs, you know, I'm available to you. All right, yes. Mm -hmm. So it works both ways. So guys, if you have, still have more questions or want to explore more information about this course, come to talk to us, visit our campus in Perth and Adelaide, or go through our social media, send an email, or send a message through our social media platforms. And we are amazing uh, to have you here and uh, explain about the course. And also, you can talk to a migration uh, agency to plan your migration pathway here to Australia and study with us as well. Right? So once again, thank you, Nia, for your time. And see you guys soon.